Hey everyone, Season of Mastery has been running for over two weeks now and people are already starting to hit level 60 all over the place. And SOM is awesome at 60. There's a ton of content available from the get-go and a plethora of things to do before even setting foot inside Molten Core or Onyxia. Among these are important quests. At the higher levels and especially at level 60, you'll unlock a lot of important quests that will either reward you with powerful items or unlock even more content for you. So today we're gonna go over 10 of these quests you should be doing or at least putting them in your quest log as soon as you can once you're 60. Some of these will be for all classes and some others will be class or role specific. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, you just hit level 60 on this fresh new character. The number one most important quest chain you should probably start is obviously the Molten Core Attunement quest. I'm not gonna waste too much time on this as you probably know it, but I actually have a way for you to do this solo on most classes, so stick with me here. But you never know when you'll be invited to an MC, and being able to zone in is obviously crucial. Grab this from the elf Lothos Rift Waker at the bottom of Blackrock Mountain. If you don't know, the way you complete this quest is by simply picking an item deep inside BRD, right before the room to the last boss and near the entrance to Molten Core. You'd have to clear the whole instance and kill those mobs that guard the bridge. But you can actually not only solo this, but also skip all the mobs up until here. Once you enter BRD, open the doors that would normally lead you to the arena. If you don't have the key for this, you can either get someone to open the door for you, or ask around in your guild or someone outside. Or you can also pick the lock if you're a blacksmith with a skeleton key or a rogue. Anyways, once the doors are open, follow this path and avoid pulling as many mobs as possible. Once you're at this hallway, you can either make a run for it, stealth through, or what I recommend for most people, use an invisibility potion like I'm doing here. We're actually gonna use another invisibility potion later before the end and they have a 10 minute cooldown. From there, follow this route, jump in the lava, keep swimming through the lava while making sure to avoid the fire elementals inside, use a second invis potion once you're near the entrance to MC, then at the end of this you'll simply be able to pick the quest item and turn the quest back at the NPC. Moving on, obviously MC is only one of the raids available. You also need to get attuned to Onyxia. The Onyxia attunement is a long and arduous quest chain that has you go all over the world. I'm not gonna go through it here, otherwise this video would get unnecessarily long, but you can easily find guides for it all over YouTube or on Wowhead. The point is here, and the important thing I want to mention is that the Onyxia attunement at the end has you do Ubers and kill General Dracoseth. Ubers is a long and annoying dungeon to do, and there's actually a lot of quests that require you to kill Dracoseth. So you're better off making it count and do all these quests at once. So the next quest you should grab before killing Dracoseth is called General Dracoseth's Demise. This one is also important to do if you're a melee, a hunter, feral druid, or any caster, because it rewards you with one Black Hand's Breath, a trinket you'll be keeping for a very long time as a melee or hunter, Mark of Tyranny, a trinket you'll be keeping forever as a feral druid, and Eye of the Beast, a solid trinket for casters. So to do this quest, you'll first have to do Lower Blackrock Spire, an equally long and annoying dungeon as Ubers. But anyways, at the end, once you kill Overlord Wyrmthalak, you'll be able to loot an item from him that starts this quest. From there, you'll just need to clear ubers and you'll be done with this. But before you do that, there's one last quest you want to pick first. And that's the attunement to Blackwing Lair. BWL isn't out yet, and it probably won't be for another 3 or 4 months. But you're better off doing this now anyways. For this, it's quite simple. In this hallway near the entrance to Blackrock Spire, you want to go to this left door and kill the Scar Shield Quartermaster. He's not very hard and easily soloable. And he will drop Blackhand's Command, an item that will start the quest to get attuned to BWL. Now that you have all the quests that have you killed Dracoset, you can safely go, kill him, and knock three birds with one stone. Just remember to click the orb behind him after he's dead to complete the BWL attunement. The other two quests you'll need to turn them somewhere else outside. 
Okay, great. So now you're tuned to every raid available and even to the upcoming raid. Let's now focus on doing quests that reward you with gear. And for that, you'll probably want to start with doing your level 50 class quests if you haven't already. Those were added later in Classic originally, but in SOM, they're available from the get-go. Each class's quest starts somewhere different, but they all have you do the same thing at the end. Do some bosses in Sunken Temple. Now, keep in mind, this quest is not worth doing for every class. In fact, the only classes that should bother with this are warlocks, mages, warriors, hunters, and shamans. You can do your level 50 class quest if you're another class, but the rewards aren't gonna be really interesting. Anyways, each one of those class quests is vaguely similar. First, you'll be going to your class trainer, which will send you to an NPC somewhere in the world. That NPC will have you do a chore quest for him or her. Then he or she will send you to Sunken temple to kill either the troll mini bosses or Morphaz, the green dragon before the last boss. Great, you can now return to that NPC that gave you this quest and choose one of those items as a reward. Be careful what you choose though here. Probably all three of those items will look very good, but there's only one right choice. For warriors, always choose Diamond Flask, Hunters, Devil Sore Eye, Shamans take the Enamored Water Spirit, and Warlocks can either go for the Soul Harvester, which mind you will be replaced quite easily, or the Abyss Shard for a free summon of the Voidwalker. It does have its uses in certain situations. Next up, one of the first quests you should do as a melee or hunter once you hit level 60, or even before that, is called a Taste of Flame. It's quite simple, you'll have to go to BRD and kill Baelgar, a level 52 boss at the end of the hallway opposite to the big forge. Kill him, dip the quest item on his corpse, and turn in this quest. This will reward you with Wormhide Shoulders, the next best pre bis item in this slot after True Strike Shoulders from Ubers, which you'll likely not be getting for a while. So these will be the shoulders you'll be rocking until you either get True Strike Shoulders as a warrior or until you get your set shoulders as a rogue or hunter. Okay, moving on, to stay on the topic of melees, a very important quest to do if you are a rogue or fury warrior is Corruption of Earth and Seed. You should probably have done this quest while leveling, but if you haven't, or even if you have, listen up. Obviously, you want to do this for the Thrash Blade. But most importantly, you can actually get two Thrash Blades from this. And here's how you do it. Obviously, you pick this quest in Desolus, from either the Alliance Quest Giver in Nigel's Point or the Horde one in Shadow Prey Village. You'll simply have to go through Maradon and kill Princess to complete this quest. So turn it in, and once you turn it in, speak to the NPC again, and you'll see this option that says I lost my reward. Click it and just simply buy a second Thrash Blade. Easy. Now you will likely replace those weapons semi-easily, but until then, you have some solid stuff starter swords. Next up, a very important quest to pick sooner rather than later is the battle for Alterac. I already talked about this actually in our quests you should do a leveling video, but I'll mention it again briefly. You get this outside the entrance to Alterac Valley in Alterac Mountains, and this will require you to win an AV. Now, I know, this is easier said than done, especially for Alliance, but the rewards from this quest are really, really solid. You get Bloodseeker, which is the pre bis ranged weapon for hunters and Wand of Biting Cold, which is the best wand for Frost Mages. So yeah, get this quest, do some AVs until you manage to win one, and simply turn it in and reap those rewards. Another really important quest to do that I talked about in our gearing guide for SOM, which you should check, is called In Dreams. This is big for melee DPS, hunters, healers, and tanks, because it rewards Mark of Forgering, the pre bis neck piece for melees and hunters, Forgering Seal, a pre bis ring for for all healers, and Ornate Adamantium Breastplate, a solid chest piece for tanking. Although, unless you're going for pure mitigation, I recommend going for the neck instead. So, you'll actually be doing quite a lot before getting to this quest. Hopefully, you did most of it while leveling. If not, it all starts at Tyrion in Eastern Plaguelands. Just do all the quests he offers and follow this quest line.
mine from there. There's like eight quests to do before getting here. And this one in particular is an escort quest, which is definitely not soloable. So you'll have to get a group for it. I recommend at least five other players. Another quest that a few classes might want to do, especially if you're still missing a decent trinket, is the Dyrmo Books quest. You can buy these books directly from the auction house, or if you're feeling lucky, you can go and farm them yourself. But once you have the book, you can start a quest that simply has you go to Dire Mall, turn it in inside the library, and receive a free trinket. Now, how long you'll be keeping these trinkets will depend on your class. If you're a hunter, you'll be keeping your trinket for a very long time. If you're a warrior, not so much. But if you just hit level 60, you're most likely not going to have any useful trinket, let alone two. So I recommend getting one of these as soon as you hit level 60. Now, those books right now are quite expensive. If you can afford the 40-ish gold they're going for, usually go for it. But they'll very quickly drop in price over time. But with that, this covers pretty much the most important quests you should be doing the moment you hit level 60. I am most definitely forgetting some things here though. So if you think something should have been on this list, please drop it in the comments to benefit everyone watching this. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the Classic WoW Curios channel for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye for now.